Hi everyone, welcome back to Cooking Up the Season. Today we're going to talk about butternut squash. And you may have seen these in the grocery store and you're wondering, what is that? Well, butternut squash is considered a winter squash. Um, when you select a butternut squash, you want to make sure that you select one that's heavy for its size. They are low in calories, they're fat free, they're cholesterol free, sodium free, and they're a good source of vitamin C and an excellent source of vitamin A. When you store your butternut squash, um, you can store it in a dark place for up to a month, but once you cut it, if you have any left over, it needs to be refrigerated, so you want to store that in the refrigerator. And today we're going to look at how to cut a butternut squash, we're going to talk about peeling it, and also we're going to do a roasted vegetable, uh, roasted butter. And for our recipe today, we are going to peel our butternut squash, um, you can leave the peeling on, but for this one it's going to want you to take the peeling off. So all you use is a vegetable peeler and you'll just scrape down the peeling. And that is the simplest way to peel. So as you can see, I have peeled our butternut squash. I have left the peeling on the ends because we're gonna cut those ends off. So you wanna be very careful when you're doing this because this is still a hard vegetable and it's gonna be hard to cut. So make sure you're holding your fingers in, you're making that bare claw and you're safely using your knife and we're just gonna slice off each end of our squash. And I sliced off each end of our squash and then I went and cut the squash in half to make it easier to handle. And that gave me a flat surface so I would be able to cut down the center of my squash. And if you look at the center, there's going to be seeds inside and we're going to need to scoop those out. So we're going to scoop out those seeds and those seeds, you can even toast those like you would pumpkin seeds if you want. Now we have scooped out our seeds from the inside of our butternut squash. And this is the neck of our squash and we sliced it in uh, lengthwise. And now we're gonna slice it up in small pieces and dices. So again, remember your knife safety skills. So hold your hands like in a bear claw and rock, use your rocking motion to slice through. And then we're gonna slice this lengthwise and then make small slices. So we have our squash all diced and cut up. We're gonna place it in a Ziploc bag or you can do this in a bowl. I'm just gonna place our squash in the bag. To me, the bag's easier, it's less clean up, but it's okay if you want to use a bowl. And then we're just gonna add our seasoning. Let's get all of our squash in. We're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. And I already have that measured out for us, so we're just gonna pour that right into our bag. We're gonna use a half a teaspoon of garlic and I've already got that measured out so I'm putting that in our bag and then your seasoning of choice I'm putting some black pepper in here and any other seasonings that you would like I'm gonna zip our bag and we're just gonna toss it around or if you're using a bowl you can mix it up just want to make sure that all of the squash is entirely coated And you're going to spray a cookie sheet and then we're going to add our butternut squash to the cookie sheet. We're just going to layer it out and I'm just going to dump it right on the cookie sheet. And we're going to make sure it's not sitting on top of each other. And we're going to place it in a preheated oven at 400 degrees and we're going to bake, bake it for about 30 minutes. And here we have our roasted butternut squash. Stay tuned for our next episode of Cooking Up the Seeds.